And a very good evening, everybody. I'm John Cole on Friday night. Coyote junior quarterback Alex Bloom fired four TD passes, helping the Coyotes post their first win of the year over Legacy. One of the better performances I've seen in covering the Williston program for over 42 years. And like the rest of the club, he seems to be getting better and better. Yeah, every, every single day, every week, and every team we play just improve every week. How do you think you've gotten better? Uh, just staying in the pocket more and delivering those balls accurately. I mean, it's a big jump. You hadn't really had a lot of experience on the varsity level. I mean, that's a big jump. It's a tough league. Yeah, I haven't had much uh, time out there past two years, but getting out there and playing more games this year, it's helped a lot. Nothing like experience, right? Yep. What's that feeling when you're back there and you throw a TD pass to someone like Isaiah or anybody else? What's that feel like for you? One of the most fun thing in sports. Very exciting. What uh, makes Alex a special QB? Um, he reads the field good and he's got a good arm. So I think he's going to be very well the rest of the year. I think he'll do good. That confidence is growing. <laughs> yeah, he's gotten, he struggled a little bit in the beginning, but he's getting his confidence here and I like it. Bloom stepped up and had a heck of an outing. Yeah, no, Alex Bloom, you know, he's, the game is starting to slow down for him a little bit. Um, he's starting to see where guys are and where guys aren't. Um, we were able to get our receivers to, instead of coming back and telling us plays to run, telling us what the defense is doing, which that always helps for the quarterback, you know, so now he doesn't have to see as much of the field as if the, he didn't know what they were doing. Gotten better game by game. He didn't have a lot of varsity experience, so you've seen him grow. Absolutely. Every kid on the team has grown. Every, every kid on the team day by day has gotten better. And you know, that's what we asked for, make today better than yesterday. Who are some of the quarterbacks you love growing up? Uh, Tom Brady, just because he's a winner. Um, right now, I like Jalen Hurts a lot. He's one of the, my favorite quarterbacks in the league. Certainly impressed with the Tom Brady stuff. Now, as uh, uh, you can say, well, he's had some great receivers, but remember, someone's got to get him the ball, and he does a great job of doing that. On Friday, he and his mates hope to keep it rolling against the Setri Pats in the annual homecoming game. That's a 7 p.m. kickoff at Legends Field. And, of course, we were just talking to Alex this spring and summer, an outstanding baseball player as well, so he's not a specialist. Kaya volleyball team, home sweet home tonight for a double counter with the St. Mary Saints. Both clubs come in with two and six records in the WDA. Williston comes in off a loss to Minot, so they want to get things turned around and quick as September pulls to an end. If you're looking to take in some college baseball tomorrow afternoon, the Tetons, the defending Region 13 champs, will host Lethbridge 4 p.m. One night inning game against the guys from Canada at Raybon Field. That's 4 p.m. fall baseball. So important to get a lot of games in the fall because we, as we saw last spring, you never know what type of weather you're going to get in uh, April or March. So here in the Northern Plains, you got to get out there and play while you can. And the Tetons, of course, lost a lot of talent. Uh, so they're going to have to be, take a look at a lot of different people and uh, see how things work out there. Head coach of the Vikings not happy with the way they're handling the ball. He says they've got to cut down on fumbles or they're not going to be, his players aren't going to be there anymore. So there you go, feeling a little bit of heat. Let's take a timeout.